It's Dump TV! Morning, happy bank holiday from last few days. Um, this is that job we were dump waterproofing. So we're at a stage now where we cut channels out and put in the um, perimeter ch uh, drainage channel. So I just thought I'd show you and you can see exactly what we've done. So this channel goes out and outside so any water will, will drain out that way. Um, this channel runs straight down here. This is a, um, what they call it, a jetty eye. This channel's taped to membrane. Membrane's plugged onto the wall. So if, if there were any water that come through, like um, we've, we've kind of sorted um, front out, so I can't see there being much coming through. But if there's a bus water drain on outside, then and water does come through at pressure, then it'll come through here and go into this channel and then just run straight out, just where, where I've designed it. Um, floor's going to be made back up on that side with timber. Um, my last job, I'm going to screed this. I'm going to put some nats in. That's why we've taped up at top. So I'm going to put nats in on top of that. Um, and screed it just so that it, it's it's solid. Um, like I said, in any water, because of the way membranes taped onto um, onto uh, drainage channel, then any moisture is going to stay behind it and then go into the channel and then come out. Um, just taped it onto the sides. And there's going to be a, an independent stud wall was in front of this once we've uh, once we've finished our bit independent stud wall and that'll have services and be plasterboarded in so it's kind of a bit of a hybrid system um as you can remember this there were an issue up here um we had board coming through that board went through to outside and water percolating down it hit board and then tracking inside so we sorted that this wall behind here this brick brick wall there's a cavity behind that so uh, and then there's a retaining wall so that's us done well when I, once, I, once i've done that we have some dinner and, and that'll be us done so i just thought it'd be interesting for you to see um how we end up finishing this job and then it'd be plasters coming after this if you have any questions stick them in comments and uh and please subscribe, because we need some more subscribers. Um, and I'll see you later. See you next time. Just got done screening, just so you can have a look. So this is screed. I will top it channel. Right, this way. You can see what I've done. That's not sem. Use not sem because it'll it, that'll go off in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So but, uh, and it sets rock hard like bell metal. Um, so even though it's over a top of a plastic channel, it'll uh, it'll be like iron that, so they can put. Whatever they're going to put on the top, as long as they, as long as they don't put any fixings in it, so I, they'll have to glue glue it down to the top of that. So put some uh, SBR down and then uh, put a, a a glue and then just sprag it all. Whatever whatever they're going to put. So we've left a, a jetting eye there that can be incorporated into the stud wall um, with a panel, and if it ever gets blocked, they can they can jet it through. So uh, yeah, that's his, that's his job all finished, all waterproofed and uh, and sealed up, and uh, they'll be able to get on with it and 
and, and have it as a nice bedroom or whatever it's going to be and uh, not worry about any water coming in. So that's damp sam, waterproofing, hybrid system. Uh, please subscribe again. See you later. It's Damp TV!